In this training video, we're going to look at linking Visio diagrams to other applications. In this example, it's going to be Microsoft Word. We can do this by saving a Microsoft Visio diagram as a picture and then importing the picture into Microsoft Word as a, as a linked picture. So to do this, the diagram we're going to use is mind mapping, this brainstorming diagram, which I'm going to name mind mapping, uh, by going to the file tab and I'm going to go save as. I'm going to browse and save it as a picture to the desktop. And I want to save it as a picture, so I'll choose a JPEG and I'll just call it Project Mind Mapping Diagram. Project Management. And then click Save. And then it gives you options you can update here if you don't want to. So background colors and other options if you wanted to update it. I'm not going to update anything. So you can change the quality and other options. I'm just going to leave it as it is by the default. Click OK. And then I go to Word, which I've got open. And I'm going to insert it as a link. So insert picture, which I've saved. So it's going to, going to look at it from the device. And here it is, project management, my mapping. Not going to click on the insert button. I'm going to click on the arrow, insert and link. So there's the picture now that's been brought into Microsoft Word. And that's how it looks. Now I'm going to make a change to the Visio diagram and I'm going to update it. So I'm just going to change the design. And I'm going to go through a theme in this example. I'll just pick a different theme so it just colors it differently. So there we go. We've got a different color theme now applied to the box a little bit to make it readable. Okay, so this has now been changed. We can see a clear change. I'm now going to save this as the updated picture. So that's one thing. When you make a change of visual, you must save it to the original picture which you just saved. So I'm going to go File, Save As, Browse. And again, I want to save it as a picture and I want to update the original picture. So I'm going to go to the JPEG again. Now, the one I want to update is in the desktop. And the name of it is the project management and my mapping diagram. So that's the one I want to update. Save. It says, do you know a place where what, what exists already? Yes, I do because I've, I've updated it. And I know that that picture is linked to Word, so I'll just accept the default settings here. If I go back to Word, I now know this is linked. If I click on the object diagram, in Word you can add features like edit links to files or update to the Quick Access Toolbar, and these can be used then for updating the linked picture. So I'm going to click Update, and there we go. We've now got the update from Microsoft Visio. So whatever changes I make to the diagram, like we've seen in this example, a different color has followed through to Microsoft Word by using either update or edit links to files. Both of them will work. I find update quicker. And there's the change. So we can clearly see that as long as we make the change in Visio, save it on top of the original link diagram, which is in this case on the desktop, then go back to Word and choose the update option. We can see the changes can follow straight through. But this completes the training video on linking a diagram in Microsoft Visio to an external application, which in this example we link to Microsoft Word. And the link was created by saving a Microsoft Visio diagram as a picture and inserting that picture into Microsoft Word as a picture with a link. The picture was then updated when the diagram was updated and then the update then occurred within Microsoft Word by clicking the update button. So this now shows the process of 
linking visual diagrams to external applications as pictures. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.